Hey everybody, how you all doing? Sir Stevie here, bringing you a brand new Blackout video. In the video today, everybody, I'm just going to be taking you through a little bit of a list that I've made. And the list itself is five things that I feel that still need changing in Blackout. The list itself is just a few different little things in the game that still annoy me a little bit today. And they're the sort of things where I see them in the game and I still wonder why are these things in the game? Why haven't they been fixed yet? Because we're coming up to nearly six months now since Blackout first came out, Black Ops 4 first came out. So you'd think that any small underlying problems that were there from day one should have been fixed by now. But for some reason, Treyarch, for whatever reason in their great wisdom, have decided to leave these things in the game. And I just feel like they don't add to the gaming experience. They kind of ruin it in a way and just make it more difficult to play the game to some extent. Before we just get into the list itself, I'd just like to thank you all for all the support you still give the channel, it's it's crazy. If, if you are new to the channel, feel free to drop a subscribe and like it, it'd be really appreciated. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the list. So the first one that I've got on the list, this is probably the one that annoys me the most, and if you're someone who watches my live streams quite a bit, it's one of the things that I say during my streams annoys me the most. And this is basically shadowing. So what I mean by that is, how easy is it for people to blend into shadows on this game? Whether it's going in the corner of a room in a building, or the shadow of a tree, that sort of thing. It is incredibly, incredibly hard to see someone when they are hiding in the corner of a dark room in Blackout, or they're hiding under the shadow of a tree in Blackout. And in my opinion, it's just one of those things where I feel like it has no place in the game, because in a sense, it's just promoting people to sit back camp and not play the game in a in a fun way it's it encourages people to just sit in buildings and wait for people to come into a building which i've never understood myself i, I feel like it'd make the game really boring i'm someone who likes to sort of play the game a little bit aggressively that sort of thing but yeah i just feel like it's one of those things where it just enables people to camp to a different age basically so that they can just camp in a building hide in the shadow and it is virtually impossible to see someone I had it the other day, unfortunately I don't have the gameplay of it, but I had a sensor dart on a house, so I knew there was a guy in this particular house. The shadowing and the lighting in the room was that bad, even with the sensor dart up, and I was looking at where he was, I still couldn't see him. So imagine if that was a case where I didn't have a sensor dart up and I was just walking into that room to loot it. It's, it's ridiculous. Plus, I've recently turned my brightness up to 100, so not only my eyes absolutely getting destroyed playing this game, I don't know what I'm doing to my eyesight long term by having a 100% a brightness on as opposed to 40 I think I had. I'm still struggling to see people with the flipping shadowing on this game, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I feel like that's a big problem for me, just the shadowing in general in the game. Moving into the next point that I've got everybody, this is a little bit similar to shadowing, but not the same as shadowing. It's basically the windows in the game. Now, this I've only found this in the, as a problem in the regular blackout mode, not the Alcatraz one as you see in here. But basically, I don't know why they've done this, but in blackout, every single window is dirty. And I don't understand why. I know that you're in the desert and, you know, obviously all the bits get stuck on the window. They're going for a realistic vibe, that sort of thing where dirt gets stuck to the windows. But it's one of those things, again, where there's so many times I've been killed by someone and they're just sat at the window. And because there's so much dirt and stuff on the, on the glass panels, you cannot see them at all. I don't know why they've put this in the game. It, it, again, it just feels like it's enabling people to camp, which... Is not something I think COD would necessarily want to approve. I don't know. It's up to them, obviously, what they put in the game. But it's just one of those things, and I, I don't get why they've made the windows dirty, because it just makes it impossible to see people sometimes when on the other side of a window, basically. Coming into the third point now, everybody, this is just one I feel like it's something that hasn't been... I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if you class it as a glitch or not. I'd just say it's maybe something to do... The server's being a bit slow on cards, something like that. I don't know, let me know in the comments. But it's basically, I'm someone in Blackout and I like to, I feel like I can land quite quickly in the game. I feel like if there's 10 people going to lo a location in Blackout, as long as I jump right away or at a good time, I can be one of the first people to land. And sometimes it doesn't really feel like a bonus landing quickly. And the reason being is if you ever had it where you land in a game in Blackout, you run into a room and none of the items have loaded on the floor. So you might be, you can only find like a gun if you run over that gun. You can't physically say it's, uh, just for exam an example purpose, it's, say it's an SG-12 or a MOG. You only see the MOG if you run directly over it and it says, in my case, hold square to pick up weapon. 
and I don't understand why they've done that. I don't know why they make it so slow for guns to load on the floor because the amount of times where I've ran into a building, I can't find any type of gun, anything like that, and I've just ran into the next room. Someone's landed five seconds after me, gone to the exact same spots I have, the guns have loaded on the floor, and they've managed to get a gun before me and kill me. And it feels like you're kind of getting penalised a little bit for landing quickly, which is something that everyone wants to do in Blackout. The only way that I'd have been able to find that gun is if I'd ran into like every corner of that room where I know items spawn, which is just a bit, little bit of a long-winded effort. But again, it's just another thing that I feel like they need to fix in Blackout because it just doesn't make it fair that you're landing first, and that, but you're the last person to find a gun in some cases. Coming into the next point that I've got, this is basically something I've had as a problem for quite a while now probably in Blackout. I don't know if any of you have had it, but it's grapple guns. For me, with grapple guns, I love them. They're one of my most favourite items in the game. It lets you get to places that you wouldn't normally be able to get to. Because unlike a game, say, like Fortnite, where you can build to wherever you want, grapple guns help you get to places that would be otherwise impossible to get to, unless you, say, had a helicopter, which just isn't realistic to have one of those in every game. But basically, you'll see a clip on your screen here, and there's so many times now where I'll grapple gun onto a roof, but I don't actually end up on the rooftop. And what I mean by that, as you will have just seen on the gameplay there, sometimes you'll grapple gun, and just about just as the grapple gun's about to end and your guy's about to mantle onto the rooftop, it almost gives your guy like a little bit of a boost, if you know what I mean, where your guy launches like a foot into the air so you can comfortably get on the rooftop. But then sometimes, I feel like it's been happening more lately, I don't know why, but just as you're about to hit the rooftop, it's like your grapple gun cuts off like a second early and you just fall. It mostly happens to me when I'm trying to get on one of the roof buildings at Turbine. But I just find it a little bit frustrating because there's so many times where I'll be saving one grapple gun in my invent because that's all I've got and then it doesn't work out and I end up taking fall damage on top of that, which is just a little bit annoying. I'm hoping it's something that they can fix, but let me know if it's something you guys feel happens to you as well in the comments below. It'd be great to know. And finally, last but not least, everybody, this is just another one that sort of annoys me a little bit. This is to do with the end game, and this is basically where the zone finishes. Now, what I mean by that is I know we've just had an update where zone damage does different types of damage depending on how long you're in the zone, and Treyarch have said this is to counter people out healing the zone in the end game so that they have to actually fight instead of just out healing the storm, that sort of thing. And I'm all for that, I hate people that try and get a win based just on that because I feel like they haven't really beaten me in the 1v1 if that makes sense. I have no problem with being beaten, fair play, if they shoot me in a better place than I shoot them and they do more damage. But when they've just hidden in a building and out healed the storm, it's not real. there's no skill in that in my opinion. So I don't really think they deserve the win because they've not actually beaten me, they've just had more medis than me. And while I'm all for that, I think the main problem with this and the main way people out heal the zone is when you make it, like, the zone end on somewhere where there's so many different layers. Like, say, for example, I can't tell you how many times I've had the game end at construction site, and I might have been on the bottom floor, the dude might have been on the roof near the helipad, that sort of thing, and there's no way one of us can kill the other without taking a ton of zone damage. So even if we did manage to get to the same floor the other dude was at, we might be walking into that fight with only 50 health, so it's just a bit pointless. I feel like the zone damage change Treyarch have bought in doesn't really help with the end game, because no one out heals the zone like 5 minutes before the game ends, which is obviously, it takes quite a while for this extra zone damage to build up. So I feel like if you just do it for the last 30 seconds of the battle, and if you've got like Outlander and Consumer on, the zone building up damage thing they've introduced doesn't really have enough time to have an impact, I don't think. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just think they need to make it so that end games can't finish um, on somewhere where there's multiple floors for someone to hide. Maybe make it a building where or where there's just one floor, so one person can be just one floor above, one person can be one floor below. But don't make it so there's like five or six different layers and floors where people can hide. It just makes it too difficult. I don't know how they'd do this. I don't know if we'd end up just getting a lot of the same end games, that sort of thing. But it could be something that they could just trial maybe, but... Yeah, that's just my opinion. All of these points are just my opinion, guys. These are just things that I found have got on my nerves a little bit and just been a little bit frustrating and are the sort of things that I feel wouldn't be too hard to fix, in my opinion. But as I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's always great to hear you guys' opinion. As always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and liked the video, feel free to do so. It would be much appreciated. 
But yeah, that's it from me for today, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.